Hey and welcome to video number six. We're going to talk about rebranding the product. So we're going to take a live example of the cat training uh, report and I'm going to show you, you know, how to go through it, give you some ideas on rebranding the product and we'll get started right away. Now before I show you, you know, how to edit, how to rebrand your ebook or report, I do want to say that while we're using Microsoft Word in this video, if you don't have Microsoft Word and you don't have enough money to dish out the money for Microsoft Word, then there is an alternative. If you go to Google and you type in Open Office, I've used Open Office before and it's been a great tool. I just prefer to use Microsoft Word. Open Office is free if you go to the site. It's basically a suite of programs with, you know, Word documents and it can read Word documents and so forth and so forth. But I wanted to put that out there just in case you did not have Microsoft Word and you wanted another avenue. With that said, I am going to open the report in Microsoft Office. So I'm going to double click this and open it up here. And what I want to do now is simply go through the report and use Microsoft Word and show you, you know, things like how to change the header or the footer to reflect the rebranded title, how to change your author name to your and your website, how to insert images, your e-cover image into the first page. And this is this report was actually very well done. Not all private label rights products are done this way, but I was actually very happy with this example but what I'll do is I'll show you how to do that I'll show you how to rewrite the we talked about the title the subtitle I'll show you how to write the chapter the table of contents you know replace images change fonts and so forth and so forth so as you can see here with the cat special report this is the headline here so let's say for example that we want to change the header and the footer so with Microsoft Word it's different depending on what version you use I'm actually using a very uh, a lot much older version and if I go to home and I click on see insert I can click on header and I can edit the header so I can change special report to cat training special report and then if I want to change the footer I can do that here so if I click that I can say www.cattraining101.com and click close header and footer so that was the header and footer and just to reflect the title and the subtitle and and so forth so you can really change things around and whatever you choose to do so now normally not always will you have an e-cover on the first page so what I can do is simply delete this and insert another picture so you would basically have to find an image to do that and once you find an image I know this is not necessarily a cat picture, but you can insert that here. And you can also resize that image. You can move it around. You can center it. And so forth. So a lot of private liberal rights reports usually will have areas where you can customize it. However, I would actually change it around. Simple tips that will help you keep your hat, your cat healthy and happy for a lifetime. This report was brought to you by, and I would just say, I would change it around so it doesn't look like everyone else's. And John Smith, use this ins insert your bio. Most people don't really care about your bio. Um, but if you do have credentials in the sales part, 
you can do that. Or if you're trying to sell your other books, I would put that here as well. Not necessarily sales, but maybe tips and advice to gain their trust and so forth. And then you have the table of contents. I would do table of contents. And if I ever rewrote this, I would change this out. And let's see, I'm going to delete this. And you'll definitely want to go through the report. And if it needs to be writ rewritten, you can get it rewritten. And I would just go through and look at it and see if I could change the, the text and perhaps even the titles here. And it's about 6,645 6, words. You can actually find people to rewrite on Fiverr if you want to go that route and just rewrite it. But uh, for the most part, if I go through, you know, change things around, rebranding is actually, you know, changing the stuff is very easy. The, the big question that you need to ask yourself is once you figured out everything in video number two, does this report need to be changed? Do you need to add, you know, more pictures? Do you need to re-angle the report? Do you need to add bonuses like videos and so forth to it to change it around? And once you're done with this, you can just go through it and in the future videos we'll show you how to convert this file into a PDF but basically just go through it make sure that it follows your plan from video number two and really follows the rebranding and repositioning of the actual product